தெருவிட்டுக் கொள்கிறேன் அன்பர்களை முதன்மையாக இந்த செட்டி குடும்பத்தின் சார்பாக உங்கள் யாவரையும் இந்த தேவசம் பிரார்த்தனைக்காக வருவிக்கிறேன் நீங்கள் இங்கு வந்து சேர்ந்திருப்பவை பற்றி இந்த செட்டி குடும்பத்தின் சார்பாக உங்களையே நன்றியை செலுத்திக்கின்றோம் எங்களை பிறந்தவிட்ட காலம் சென்ற வயலட் முத்தமா செட்டி அவர்களுடைய ஆத்மாவ நட்கதியும் சாந்தியம் அடிந்து சிவபெருமானுடைய பாதார விந்தகத்தில் சேரும் படியாக தான் விரைவத்தை விட்டு நீங்கியவற்றில் my very very humble vanakkam namaskaram namaste greetings to one and all of you this beautiful afternoon like i said we all gathered here for one specific reason and that is to observe what we refer to as the devasam puja that is being held on behalf of the departed soul of the late violet muttama chetty we pray to namakshivaya pramani and say to him pashivani we ask that you confer your grace upon this soul by offering it what we refer to as paramukti paramukti is to become one with god himself on behalf of the chetty family the chetty family bids you a very very warm welcome and they also thank you for being part of them whilst they observe this devasam prat we are about to commence with the opening prayer let us all rise for our hands we pay homage to you you are the infinite source of energy you are the infinite source of light when i get pramani we ask that you comfort the family and ensure that the soul attains what we refer to as everlasting peace we pray to you namo namo when i get pramani you have no beginning you have no end you are the ultimate figure in our life please grant the soul what we refer to as param Yeah. 
our next dedication is to Lord Namachivaya Pramani, whereby we say to him, Namachivaya Pramani, he said, You are the sum and source of the whole universe. You are the creator of this universe, and of course, at the end of the deluge, you will absorb that universe within yourself. You have gone into great lengths into ensuring that we as human beings live a good structured life. When the whole world was engulfed in what we refer to as the nuclear energy, when this whole universe was being conjured up, mankind had gone through severe stress, couldn't handle the pressure of this nuclear waste that had been emitted from the constant churning of this ocean. Namachivaya Piramani was you that had taken the nectar or the poison, what we refer to as the shame, and you have sorted it and you have stored it into your blue throat. Namachivaya Piramani, taking that into consideration, we glorify your beautiful name. Shivaya Namaha.
our scriptures clearly states jalangu bodu dhoopam marandu ariyen tamilode isai paadal marandu ariyen nam nalam thingile onne marandu ariyen un naamam en naavul marandu ariyen mini wood jalam ko bodu dhoopam jalam is water who is flowers dhoopam is light jalam ko bodu dhoopam marandu ariyen namachivaya premani god almighty in respect of which of for my patron i have never have i forgot to worship him with the medium of offering of water flowers and light tamil odi se paadu marugori coming of camel region i will always sing beautiful hymns dedicated to yourself nalam thinigale onnai marugori in respect of the standing in life i am whether i am a ceo of a conglomerate company whether i whether i am a pauper in the street un naam en naavu marundu ariyen my tongue has never ever forgot to chant your beautiful name in the next part we glorify you lord mother permani it is said i'd like to take you place you on to a kamalam kamalam means a lotus flower put you on to a bunjal and sing your glorious name whilst i rock you like the way we do kumbhak shake i'm sorry the way we would do through kalyan and temple after the marriage we take the deities we put them on to this little bunjal or swing and we rock them and we sing our beautiful lullaby that is the lullaby we sing to you lord for the purpose
பாவங்கள் போனதை உலகப்பிரமாணி Relieve me of all my sufferings and pain in this world. Our next dedication is to the Divine Mother. She is the pure energy of the soul universe. We pray to your divine mother. Being the energy of the whole, whole universe, I bow down at your lotus feet. Come down, protect me. Give me all the good things in life. Give me all the good things that I wish for. Shower us with an overflow of your divine blessings. We come looking for you and we chant your glorious name, O divine mother. You are the source of all lights. You are the primal seed of life. You are the great light that emanates throughout the universe. When that light gets switched off, the whole universe comes to an end. As long as that great light is out there, flickering, the light that we got within our also physical body will keep this body in tandem with everything that transpires around it.
when one visits South India, when you go to a state that we refer to as Kerala, there's a beautiful shrine dedicated to Govinda Praman in the form of Krishna Paramatma. It is said, five and a half thousand years ago, Krishna had got this Murti idol by himself. He was got the uh, Guru, Guru Bhagavan to shape up this Murti. And he asked Guru Bhagavan to install this Murti somewhere in the southern province. That Murti has now been placed into Guru Vayur, whereby it is said, this Murti here is a shrine whereby what Krishna has said, from that Murti they will control this whole universe during the phase that we refer to as the Kali Yoga. If one visits the shrine, more especially around about 6 p.m. in the you will see clay lights that you have never seen in your life. There's thousands and thousands of clay lights all in the walls of this. It is one of the most beautiful things that your eye will actually be over.
the driving word in Kali Yoga is what we refer to as Bhakti. It is said without Bhakti, you cannot make any headway spiritual. In the Kali Yoga, the Srimad Bhagavatam clearly states in the Kali Yoga, in the current age that we are living in, one must try and move away from every resource and try and focus on what we refer to as Bhakti. Bhakti is the constant chanting of God's name. In the Kriya Yoga, when we had the Ram Avadaram, Lord Shiva accompanied Sri Ram in the form of Anjaniya Swami or Hanuman, whereby he showed us the true form of, true value of Bhakti. At one point in time, Hanuman was given a garland of pearl necklace, pure pearl, one that people dive deep into the oceans and they've dug these pearls out of the mirror and necklace out of the pearls and they've given, they presented to Lord Rama, presented to Hanuman. Hanuman looked at those pearls and he started biting into these pearls. And he was questioned by Sita then, why he brings aren't you grateful enough that you know such effort has been made to go out into the deep sea and try and get those pearls in order for you to use it. He says, fine. Sita Mahal, but the only problem is I do not see see Ram in, this, in these pearls. That is why biting these pearls to see see Ram is actually within the confines of these pearls. So she said to him, okay, fine, if you don't see see Ram in the pearls, where can you see see Ram? And that's where he tears his chest open and he reveals the whole universe. This is where Ram, Sita and Lakshmana is. His next dedication is to Lord Hanumanji, thanking him for showing us the way of embracing bhakti in our daily worship.
on the right hand side of the prayer water, you'll find a beautiful shrine of God, the Raja Pramana. Whereby we pay to Nataraja Pramani, we said in the scriptures, Nataraja Pramani, he dances the dances of life. As long as that dance is in motion, his whole universe flows over motion. And the day that dance stops, his whole universe will come to an end. He is referred to as the space element in our life. If you look around you, if you look at your gross physical body, it is made up of what we refer to as the Anjabhulangal or the five base elements of life, earth, fire, water, space and air. He represents the air element. And we say to him, Raja Pramani, it is said in the scriptures, you have your one feet raised up in the air. Two kiya padami, but the one raised feet in the air. But the day the feet comes down to the floor, this whole universe will come to a crushing blow. In other words, there won't be any more universe you would have absorbed this entire universe within yourself. Raja Pramani, we thank you for giving us this life that we have. Also, we encourage you to ensure that we always live or try to live the life that you have prescribed us, prescribed to us, which is the life of righteousness.
next part of the dedication to Lord Varga Pramani is budget. And in this budget, we make Lord Varga Pramani, same thing, Varga Pramani. Give me the opportunity every day of chanting your glorious name. On the render beautiful budget skills, chanting your glorious name on Lord Varga Pramani. And in doing so, I want to emulate Arunagiri Nadal with me sang the beautiful Tirpur, glorifying your supreme being.
there is a female saint in northern India that set the most so far as bhakti is concerned. From day it all, most of the spiritual organizations that you see around today, like the Sri Ramakrishna Center, you will find the Hare Krishna movement, all emanated from the bhajans that she sang to Lord Krishna. She went into total oblivion. In other words, she lost the total sense, she lost the control as well, trying to <coughs> chant the holy name of Krishna Paramatma. In this budget, this budget has been rendered by itself. I am render this next budget and we will try to take this budget to a new level.
Bhajan Dev Mirabai says, she will forget herself as long as she is given the opportunity of chanting Lord Krishna's name and dancing in total ecstasy. And we sing the final padigam, the final padigam, in the first half of our service. This family, the Chetty family, have lost a biological mother. Having lost a biological mother, that is one person in your life that you could never ever forget. The bond between the mother and the child that you have been fought in this world here is something that cannot be emulated in any way. If you go through the whole universe, the entire universe, you cannot emulate that love or that bond that is shared between, more especially, the mother and the child that should be in front of The river side, I don't know. On the river side, I don't know. I've seen parents being ignored. I've seen parents being given a lot of But in this song here, we praise the biological mother. We say, thank you. When I was growing up, when I was in times of desperation, you were always dead. You came out, you ensured Whatever I wanted was always there for me. You went, took the, the furthest step to ensure that whatever I required in order for me to sustain a good life, you have always ensured that those things were there on the table. In this song that I am saying, you are, you are the most beautiful thing that has ever happened to me. This most glorifying thing, this most lovable thing that has entered my life. We say thank you. And you can never say your mother thank you. How do you say, how do you say thank you to your mother? You can never ever say thank you. But in this song, we're going to try and do that. We say to her, you are the most loving being that entered my life. Holy Anam Bandam, even if I the whole world had to come, and, there is nothing in the whole world that can compare to you. Because, oh mother, you, you've carried me, you've developed me, you've brought me up to this age that I am today. To what I am to. So, so roti valattai, pal roti valattai. So roti, so is, is food. With your hands, you have fed me. And when in my infancy stage, you have breastfed me, brought me to this age. Arumei yirnil hammai. You are the most beautiful thing that has ever happened to me in my life. I will sing this part and thereafter, we can have one speaker. Renny is going to be doing this as small tribute. Of course, he's also going to do the, he's paying, paying tribute as well. Okay. He's going to do the vote of thanks as well. So.
be a family and friends on the call for Rennie Shetty, who is the Spears Sports Tribune. Of course, he's going to do the vote of thanks as well. Thank you. Thank you everyone for attending Amma's first year uh, uh, ceremony. It's a pleasure to see everybody joining us today. And uh, I think, you know, just sitting in the car and listening to the music, this is how Amma would like to have enjoyed her ceremony. The, uh, the last song that Abdul Guru sang was amazing. This, we can't, I, I don't think any one of the children, including myself, could have asked for a better way to pay tribute to Amman. So thank you very much for that. And really, I think first, uh, thank you for the service. It's really surreal just sitting and listening and embracing uh, how you conducted it. So thank you. You know, there's so much we could always say. My family always says I speak a hell of a lot. But there's just so much that I can say on behalf of, of uh, my mother. And uh, so today I just decided to just, you know, just say a little you know, poem that was written by David Alexander that probably just portrays and encapsulates this event that we have. And it goes by, you can shed tears that she is gone, or you can smile because she has lived. You can close your eyes and pray that she will come back, or you can open your eyes and see all that she has brought to us. Your heart can be empty because you can't see her, or you can be full of the love that she shared with us. You can turn your back on tomorrow and live in yesterday, or you can be happy for tomorrow because of yesterday. You can remember her and only that she is gone. Or you can cherish her memory and let it live on because that's the person she was. You can cry and close your eyes and be empty and turn your back. Or you can do what mom would have wanted from us. Smile, open your eyes, love and know she's with us and she's always watching the corners. So from that perspective, I think that it says all that I would want, have wanted to say. I thank you for joining us today, and on behalf of the entire family, we love you, Mom, we miss you, but you will always be with us. Thank you. Dear family and friends, I'm going to move on to the next part of the afternoon service, and that is the offering of the Diva Maharagani. It is said in our scriptures that there is no God. God has got no name, he's got no form, he's got no gender, and he, of course, has got no shape or size. God is one big massive ball of energy that we refer to as Paramatman or Parabrahman. We're going to glorify God in this multiple aspect that we refer to as Parabrahman. And we say to him, thank you. First and foremost, in order for us human beings to make contact or communications with yourself, you have re revealed yourself in various sizes, names, shapes and forms. And we're going to glorify you, beautiful Tevarams. Tevarams are the garden of honey that we have offered you from the Shivai Praman, <clears throat> hoping and praying that you will offer your grace upon the soul and offer the soul what we refer to as Paramut, whereby there is no more birth, there but total peace and tranquility for this soul that we have us. And we call upon the families to come through on a nice orderly basis, come through and offer Diva Maharadini, and offer the Diva, 
or for the flowers or for water. You've got two cases of flowers when you turn and lost. <laughs> Oh, my 
กบุญบุญ